Hi guys, it's uh, Sunday evening, a quarter to midnight actually, and uh, I was at mum's today as I always am on a Sunday. Nice roast pork today. Anyway, um, she did a long night shift last night, 8 till 8 o'clock this morning. Um, so she picked, bleh, I'll try again. She picked me up at 8.45 this morning-ish. I just remember hearing the door buzzer go. Because <laughs> I didn't actually fall asleep until at least 3 o'clock this morning. I was sitting at the computer, eyes felt heavy, you know, I really was ready for bed. Get to bed, wide awake. Oh, I do hate that. Anyway. It was farmer's market today in the town centre. There was a decent number of stalls. Town centre is quite big so it still looked a little bit empty but there was a decent number there. I, think I counted about 10, 11 stalls. Um, but something made a very special appearance. Special to my town anyway. Um, many years ago there was a company in town ran by a couple of brothers and that was called WB Gaze also known as Plumley and Gaze um, and they had some steamrollers proper steamrollers this is how far back I'm going um, and my late granddad worked for Plumley and Gaze and actually drove I think they had well, I've heard some people say three rollers, and some people have said two rollers, so take your pick. But um, my granddad used to operate the rollers. <laughs> and um, in 1962, I don't know if that's when the company closed or if that's just when they retired the steam rollers, but uh, they were retired in 1962 at least. Uh, and I think they sat in the yard sort of rusting for a few years, a couple of years, something like that. They were bought up, or at least one was bought, and then it was sold. I don't know when this all happened, I just know it was then sold on to the current owners um, from Northamptonshire. Miles away from here. Um, and they fully restored it. So it's a fully working steamroller again. And um, for the first time, probably since the 1960s at least, it made a comeback to the town. They actually brought it down from Northamptonshire to visit the town. <laughs> so um, that was actually quite a nice treat in a way. Because not only is it a part of my town's history, but it's a bit sort of nostalgic for me and maybe a little bit sentimental and for mum, because that's the one, or one of the ones my grandfather would have driven. And when you think about it, when you see the photos of like your grandparents in front of vehicles they once drove you never expect to actually go and see it and be able to touch it you know and smell it in the sense of you know you can smell the coal and the coal fire burning and all the steam and whatnot you know and mum was actually even luckier because she got to stand on the hot plate and pull the uh, whistle <laughs> um, which is probably going to be, you know, a once in a lifetime experience for her. And I'm actually glad, in a way, that stepdad kind of gave her a boot up the ass to, you know, <laughs> go and do that. Because that would have been an exceptional experience for her. I suppose if I'd have gone back with them, because they went back to take a photo that mum has of the whole team standing in front of the roller it 
the photo needs restoring though it's a very bad way but I'm not surprised considering how old it is. Did I say it was a 1922 roller? I mean as mum said it must have been a labour of love to restore something like that because it wouldn't have been cheap and it wouldn't have been easy because of that boiler because those boilers have got to meet certain specifications and if they don't they won't be passed and you can't use it because it won't be safe because you've got to imagine there's a lot of pressure in one of them boilers I thought Numa had something anyway as a bit of a bonus not only did I take photographs I got us some video footage as well and I'll post that at the end of this video so I hope you enjoy that anyway moving on naturally when I go to mum's I come home with something it's almost you know inevitable <laughs> um, but it's not all mine I've got to try and sell some of it um, in this box well actually I got that cardboard box Biggles gave me full of these brake calipers oh pardon me so um, I went through them I've paired them up so I've just got to go through and clean them up now I don't know how many pairs I've got one two three four five six seven eight I think it's just eight pairs that I can some of them really do need a good old to clean now I've just wrapped some tape around them just to keep them together um, then there's a bunch of odd ones left over so I've thrown them in my box because I'm not sure what to do with those to be honest um, and uh, another one that I actually kept don't worry I will pay them for them is a pair of these. These are the um, center pull type for racing bikes and uh, I've always wanted a pair of these on a racing bike so I'm gonna hope that once they've cleaned up that they'll fit my son solo. I've got cable bridges I've got another I took a couple of cables off and now I don't know where they are. <laughs> There's another couple of pair oh here they are there's another couple of pairs of calipers with these cables on I just got going there so I thought I'd take a couple uh, so yeah I'm hoping they're gonna fit and by fit I mean I'm hoping the reach down here is long enough if not then I'm screwed <laughs> there's another couple of pairs in there but they're the same length I mean I've got shit loads in here now but like I said this, these are just odd ones I can't make a pair with any of them. That's even with my own ones that are also in that box. So, in this box as well, I've got some seat posts. If I just move them out, move these calipers out of the way. And some handlebar stems. Um, he just said go through them and sell them. So most of these handlebar stems laying on the top will be put on eBay. And then he had a look around the bottom and he said, no, you can take the rest and have it. So there's a few um, brand named seat posts in there I could stick on at some point. This hasn't got a brand on it, so I don't know if I'll bother with that on eBay. I don't think. It's got a minimum line. Yeah, it's a racing bike stuff. It might sell just because it's an aluminium, but it's also got a bolt missing, same as this one. This has got the bolt and everything missing. <laughs> but it's got a. I think it says Will on there. You know, that's one that might, even though it's got all the bits missing, I don't know. Again, I don't know if that's really worth it. There's some. Steel ones that are going to need a bit of a clean up. You know, I'll clean it up as best I can. And uh, 
got some. I'll try them if they don't sell out for a couple of times, and I just won't bother. There's all sorts, and here's a lot of aluminium seat posts. There's some um, nice big chunky ones, which I'm hoping will fit my little rally, my purple rally shopping bike. I hope, because <laughs> I need a bigger one on there. Hey, there's a bunch of them. What's this one? I can't read it. It's got a name on there, but I can't read it. But that's complete, so I will. Um, that one will definitely go on eBay. It's quite short as well, which a lot of road bikers like. Another one of them. And somewhere, when I can remember what I did with them, there's a pile of ah tire levers as well. There's a bunch of really old ones, but he's going to put the old ones up on eBay himself. The idea is. I sell what I can out of that lot and that lot, and we go halves on it. Um, I think most of those, to be honest, I should get at least five pounds for a pair. These I'll keep because they are handy. I may actually take a few back and put in a toolbox at Mum's. Right, there's something else. Where is it gone? Bunch of cable. Because I want that clip. He got an 8 track radio from down the recycle ra um, centre. That clamp I'm not fussed about. I don't want it. I just want this. I've got another one in the shed downstairs. So that will give me a pair for um, the other battery charger I like to use. It's in the kitchen. That's a shadow. I thought I saw a spider go running across the countertop here. Yeah, I just grabbed that before he took it down the dump. Could have had a bunch more wire if I really wanted to, but yeah, I've got enough wire kicking around. <sighs> so yeah, that's what I've brought home today. <sighs> oh, in. I've got something that oh, yeah. Four more PS2 games that my stepdad actually got for me down the recycle centre during the week. But <laughs> All three shelves down there, you can just about see them. They're all full. Well, by full, I mean they're full being stacked that way, but uh, I think I can get at least four that way on top of them. But anyway, I've got Gun, which is like a Wild West game. What have we got? Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. I'm not sure if I've got any others of that. A football game, FIFA World Cup, Germany, 2006, and Onimusha 2. Don't think I've got the first one either. Well, I've got quite a collection of PS2 games there now. <clears throat> I keep smelling something that smells like old cat food and it could be in there. It is. <coughs> That's why I can smell it while sitting in the bed, um, living room. So I'm going to stick it in here. Alright. Well, it's a lot clearer up there, isn't it? All that space there now. So, I actually do need to get a ladder in here and just sort out up there the computers from over there so I can actually get in here and blitz the kitchen and fucking hell man <laughs> where did he come from he's a big fucker yeah big old what they be called in the states a daddy long legs we we'll just call them actually it's not a proper harvestman over here is it no, that is not a harvest spider that is a big fucker. Oop. Jesus, fuck 
because I'm making bloody cobwebs everywhere in here. And he's got to run right over there where I can't get him. That's right, you come running back this way. <coughs> now what are you going to do? That's what I'm going to do. Normally I'm not that evil, but they're pissing me off at the moment because I've got cobwebs from assholes to Timbuktu. I've got to get on the ladder and get up here and clean all the way down the back of those models because I had a wasp in here and I sprayed him with um, my fly spray, wherever that's gone. There it is. And he landed right on a web in there and I could actually see it crawling around on the web. So I'm going to have to clean up that there. <laughs> no, no doubt there's bloody shitloads of cobwebs behind these bookcases as well, but I'm not worried about that. Uh, up in the car, actually there's a spider up there, look. I don't know if he's showing up. I mean, you might be able to make out a dot of some sort up there. Here he is. He's a little harvestman. There's one in the bathroom. I've found him in the bloody bedroom. I've made cobwebs behind the TV. I've made them under the fucking bed again. Oh, they just piss you off. Harvest spiders just make a web and then piss off and leave them. It ticks you right off. <sighs> right. Now I can see it all along the edge up there. I'm going to have to seriously decobweb in here. Why don't you chase them? <laughs> Get them out of the flat. I don't pay rent. <coughs> oh, I'm not very good at catching bleeding flies either. There actually was one in that corner of the kitchen as well. Yeah, so, uh, I'm going to at the end of this video, there will be some uh, footage of the, um, 1922 steamroller. I can't remember what the make is. It's something in Ruston. But I can't remember the, um, actual full name of it now. Battery's always hot when your day comes. I'll try again. Why are batteries always hot when they come out of the charger? <sighs> right. Oh no, I've played that game. Yeah, I've got a couple of solitaire games I'll play before I bugger off to bed. Uh, can't move in the workshop over at Mum's again. <laughs> it's uncanny how alike me and my stepdad is. Cause you see where I've been doing things again and I've completely... Well, you know how it was a few days ago and I've just completely... <coughs> made a mess. Well, my stepdad is exactly the same. <laughs> That's all we do. We don't clear up after ourselves. We just move on from one project to another until we can't move and then we end up having to completely blitz wherever we're working. I mean I've got computers where I was playing with those and then tonight I've been playing with bike parts and <laughs> I've still got speakers in the way you know he does exactly the same thing anyway I'm gonna shut the video down here and uh, I'll say thanks for watching as I always do I do appreciate those that do watch the videos and uh, I hope you enjoy the quick look around the steamroller. We'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>
I did put 400 litres in.